why the Archangelic calendar is important, more about Archangel Zophiel, word of mass surrender. More info is available at archangelicalendar.com. Today's date on the Archangelic calendar is Infinity OI 57L 877 Infinity Infinity B 44444 Infinity Infinity B 1 TT Infinity Gaia reversed elemental direction again and is water dominant at the moment. This was a very sticky and sudden shift, and it may feel a bit like being seasick. We are just being carried away by the ebb and flow of Mother Earth and should hold tight. Check today's assignments to see how you can help ease TBE current situation. This is not just Earth-based shift but it is also a galaxy and cosmic-based motion as well, they are all going though a similar thing in their own unique way. To help digest this concept we see the universe changing its setting remove a parist much in the same way that your stomach chemistry changes when it experiences a parasitic invasion. Natural forces work similarly on a macro level as our body does on a micro level. There is word of a massive surrender. Until it manifests in front of everyone's eyes, we will not take it seriously. The Dark Pope has been pleading with our forces, but until it's over, it is not over. We are still waiting on Earth's grand liberation to shift focus on building metaphysical structures. They will not take us by surprise, Archangel Zophiel. There is no direction that one can come from that Archangel Zophiel does not have a front row seat to. He is an expert on our current timeline and is very possibly the most physically influential of all the Archangels. When you start working with Archangel Zophiel, and hopefully you will, you will be amazed how audible he is. You will also be amazed how he knows everything down to the most minute thoughts of the insects in the room of your inquiry. He makes Project Looking Glass look like an HO sketch rendering done by a monkey. He can also speed up and slow down time for various purposes, and he is an active participant when we experience hidden segments of time. If you are wondering what a hidden segment of time is, it is a moment of time, stuck between our cognizant time recognition abilities. This means in between fractions of a second, it would be possible to experience eons of time. This also fits in with our modern interpretation of moving observer quantum physics, as well as the electric universe theories of rebellious scientists worldwide. We are completely surrounded by salt for protection and for conductivity purposes. Asterisk 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 most of humanity's 7.8 billion people do not have enough belief in their ability to work metaphysically as of yet. If that is not the case, and for most light workers it is not, feel free to use your own tools and abilities for assignments. For the others, the tools below will help you bridge the belief gap, as your belief in the said being would come into play as well. Asterisk asterisk asterisk. The following tools will only be available until the mark of the next Archangelic Day. Envision yourself using said tools with a pure heart and intentions. A warning to all who try to yield unworthy, these things have their own will. Please make a mental note of what you wish to equip. Passive equals no intention needed to use or arm. Active equals intention needed to yield. Aggressive equals will attack or block without intention. Active, passive and aggressive anywhere within the universe. The violet flame team for the day is Archangel Ragwell, Archangel Orion, Archangel Anseal, Archangel O'Neill. Archangel Germain, Archangel Zardakil, Archangel Sablo, Archangel Uziel, Archangel Tatrazil, Archangel Af, Archangel Kirkel, and Archangel Bathkol. 
we have a very aggressive violet flame team who has crossed in position for complete coverage. To be noted all tools below have been imbued with the violent flame. This is not a reflection of our current state as much as it is the way everything has aligned today. Of course, that may change as the day moves forward but it doesn't seem likely. Active long and short range. Archangel Michael legendary sword can handle anything, as it is completely omnipotent, there is no level of consciousness that can be achieved that this couldn't slice through. It is also an amazing weapon against electronics and technology as it can override any circuitry. Active long range, passive, active and aggressive short range. Archangel Isix radiant field looks a lot like Magneto's force field and it reacts to any life form with either loving energy, or a wit. H transmutation owl blast of vast power. Passive and aggressive, long or short range anything in your jurisdiction. Archangel Leo's Swords of Plenty, is a passive and aggressive attack sword that has a complete will of its own. Do not try to yield at all, you will only get in the way, equip and go. Active long or short range. Archangel Briathus Sword is a negative entity specialist which can convert or defeat any negative energy with a touch. It also attracts positive energy when equipped. Active long or short range. Archangel Zagzagal's Staff of Heavenly Might rains large crystal masses upon a targeted area. Great for large targets, works great on physical or non-physical beings as well. Passive and aggressive, long or short range anything in your jurisdiction. Archangel Harut's Orb of Protection is much like a conscious evil eye repellent. It brings your enemies to their knees before leaving their house. It also protects from an accidental malevolent vibe. Active long and short range. Kali Ma's trident can handle anything as it is completely omnipotent. Extremely effective onto life and on boulder. It is an amazing weapon against electronics and technology, as it can override any circuitry. This is a great tool for any assignment. Passive and aggressive, long and short range. Diana, goddess Artemis barrage of flaming arrows will light up planet Earth with love. The lunar reset is approaching and she wishes to be of service to mankind. Summon her to a target or allow her to act in your best interests, either way this is a powerful tool. Active long or short range. Goddess Edena's sword is omnipotent in an entirely different way than an archangel's sword is, hers can turn something into stone and shatter the said stone in O. N. E. Swing. If you pierce the armor of the dark hearts with this sword, they will immediately join your forces. This also works great for buildings and underground bunkers. Please note the next three tools are meant to be used in combination. They are sent to us to help us sustain our physical bodies. If you need help using the below tools, envision gold bars using Archangel Ariel's wand and set it on fire using Archangel Nasaragil's and Archangel Israfil's swords. I say envision gold because Gaia controls gold and cash money, well ya know that story. Also, the Galactic Federation trades in gold and manifesting in this method also aligns with the currency methods and any divinity-based currency system. Active. Archangel Ariel's Wand of Comforts, helps you summon any necessity you may have. It is a wonderful and comforting tool when equipped. Active, aggressive and passive long and short range. Archangel Israfil's flaming sword can protect you against all things directed to you on a macro or me. Crow scale. It can also speed up the time in which something you wish to manifest will come to fruition. Active, aggressive and passive long and short range. 
Archangel Nasaragil's flaming sword can bring any negative energy to its knees. It also has the ability to remove all obstacles in the way of something you wish to manifest. Assignments. Gaia has requested cosmic winds flowing from north to south. Hold a 72-second breeze in either teal, blue or indigo, wait for the feeling direction to change. Chichen Itza is a Mexican temple who has been dormant for far too long. There is a river under the temple that needs to be redirected to the top of the temple. This will awaken ancient dragon magic from a time long forgotten. This energy is a self-regulating energy, a dragon rumber of sorts. The Siberian temple known as Poor Bajan is an ancient electrical panel what was used to regulate our grids and the pillars of light during the days of Atlantis. A plasma-based flower of life must be projected upon the site. In addition please add a 72-second yellow plasma stream. When completed, a spark will indicate that the panel is activated. Less than carat greater than less than carat greater than less than carat greater than. A special thank you. If you notice that things have spruced up around here, we can thank our dear sister Carol who was kind enough to donate the funds to remove the ads and allows me to design a friendlier website. I am deeply touched by her gesture and it was truly heartfelt. I appreciate kindness and compassion in all forms and can't thank her and each job of you enough for all the love and support. There is a level of community developing around the calendar and I cannot express in words my gratitude for making it that way. We only have more great things to look forward to and the best is yet to come. If you haven't done so already, please check the main site for new page features and other upgrades that were made. Why is the Archangelic calendar important? The Roman Catholic Church has dictated the ebb and flow of planet Earth since the faux fall of Rome, which was completely finger pretend, as they say at the Vatican. This was done because the empire was falling and they needed another way to enslave planet Earth without the use of direct force. They knew that, if you know the energetic habits of a group, you can easily control them, not to mention siphon and feed upon their fluxes at opportune times and situate ions. This was done for a few reasons, but most predominantly because this energy of suffering is their literal food. The originators of this plan had barely enough knowledge to know that to guarantee a planet's enslavement, you must isolate them from the hierarchy of divinity. The purpose of this was to limit the psychic perception of higher dimensional beings and to confuse humanity's innate senses so you we can never be found properly. To digest this we can crudely say that it allows our higher dimensional support system to find us more accurately. This is why you have such an increase in angelic and galactic activity when you start observing the Archangelic calendar. The other important factor to consider is that the calendar is the best time space markers we have while living in a 5D living experience. In many ways the observance of this time stamp can ensure you're firmly locked into a 5D timeline. This also allows us a transitional phase to ease ourselves out of 3D timing and engulf ourselves in 5D timing without too much shock to our psyche. The reason why this timing structure fits 5D so well, is because it is event-based and not metronome-based that allows for change based upon the events and settings therein. If we can keep cognizant of the fact that we are existing in unlimited realities all at the same time, we can realize that we would need more yard markers than we are currently using to accurately articulate our position in space and time. The calendar is originally transcribed via angelic cuneiform and then brought into your life via this medium. 
It is also sent to three governing bodies, the Council of Light, the Balance Division, and the Galactic and Intergalactic Communities. This is done via crystal telepathic communications and is our method of complying with the laws of disclosure.